Uh, Mr. President, I want to uh, just take a very few moments uh, to speak about an issue that I think is resonating uh, and causing great concern all over our country, and that is the outrageous escalation in credit card interest rates. Uh, I know that the House and the Senate will soon be addressing uh, the issue of credit cards, uh, but I hope very much that the uh, both bodies will include within their legislation something that is long overdue, and that is a cap on interest rates. Uh, we need a national usury rate law. Uh, it is totally unacceptable to me and I think the vast majority of the people in our country uh, that credit card companies are charging people uh, 25, 30, 30 percent, 35 percent uh, rates of interest on their credit cards. Uh, this is usury. Uh, this is wrong. This, from a biblical perspective, is immoral. Uh, and it's time that we got a handle on it. Uh, the truth is that a number of years ago, many states had usury laws which prohibited very high interest rates. As a result of a Supreme Court decision, uh, those state laws were essentially made null and void. Uh, and companies that moved uh, to states like South Dakota or Delaware uh, could essentially charge the American people any rate that they wanted. And within the last uh, 20 years, we have seen a huge increase uh, in interest rates. Today, about one-third of the American people are paying 20 percent or more. And it's time that we got a handle on that issue. What I'd like to do uh, this afternoon, very briefly, uh, is read uh, some of the emails that are coming to my office from the state of Vermont, uh, but in fact from all over this country. Uh, on late Friday afternoon, Mr. President, uh, I sent out an email to our email list, uh, and within two days' time we have had 900 responses from people who have expressed to me uh, what is going on in terms of their relationship with their credit card companies. And uh, the stories that I am hearing are absolutely appalling, in some cases unbelievable. Uh, and what is particularly disturbing is that at a time when the taxpayers of this country have provided hundreds of billions of dollars to bail out failing financial institutions uh, who, because of their greed, their recklessness, and their illegal behavior, caused them to collapse, what they are now saying to the taxpayers who bailed them out, thank you very much, now we're going to raise your interest rates substantially. So what I will be doing in the coming weeks is coming here to the floor and just reading stories uh, from Vermont and from all over this uh, country. Let me just start off with one that comes from Pulteney, Vermont. And this is what the gentleman says. He says, I own and operated a summer business in excess of 43 years. My business credit card was with Avanta at 7.9 percent for years. Last year, my payment jumped about $400 per month. I thought there was fraud involved. Upon checking, I found my interest had been raised from 7.9 to 28.8 percent. I always paid more than the minimum and always on time. When Avanta was contacted and asked why, I was told it's a floating interest. I asked to speak to a manager and was advised that's the way it was and they could do nothing to lower it. I got a, line of, I got a credit loan from Heritage Credit upon Union at 1 percent over prime, paid them off and shut down my business. After 43 years of business, it took usury to shut me down. That's just one story. Uh, somebody writes from Virginia, your state, Mr. President. Explain to me, do the banks, credit card companies feel that the only way to make money is to cheat us or manipulate us into taking part in an endless Ponzi scheme? How much profit is to be expected in an honest deal? Even 15 percent seems high to me. Goes on. Um, then we have one from Barry, Vermont. I only have one thing on my credit card every month. It's the internet access charge of $10.95. My credit card is a visa from Capital One. I received a letter stating that the rates were almost double what I agreed to pay if a payment was late, but it also stated if I did not agree to their terms, they would cancel my credit card. Let's not only do something about credit card fees, let's stop banks in their tracks with all fees they access on customer ac uh, accounts they have.
from uh, Castle Rock, Colorado. I have excellent credit, nearly 780, pretty high up. Last time I checked, I had a fixed interest rate with Capital One at 4.9 percent since 2002. In 2007, the rate was raised to 7.9 percent. I received a letter in early April of this year that it will rise to 17.5 percent for no particular reason, except that it was a company's decision. I am outraged. This is really unfair for everyone, but I think especially unfair for those of us who really pay attention to maintaining good credit. This is one from Bennington, Vermont. I'd been on time every month, and one day I got my statement, and wow, my interest rate had more than doubled. I called, and they did put it back to the rate I had and said it would be good for only nine months, and then they would up it again, and I would have to call again. This is hard for families who aren't using their credit cards anymore, and they are on a budget and a factor in the credit card payment, and then all of a sudden, one month, it's gone up a lot, and you didn't factor that in. This is from Wilder, Vermont. I am tired of being the one who has to pay. The executives of those credit companies mess up, and the little people pay. The government messes up and the little people pay. Now my oldest child is going off to college and I can't even get financial help except for loans. Yes, more interest. So now I have to pay more interest on my credit cards. When will I get help? I pay my bills, I pay my taxes. If I pay late, I get a finance charge and it hurts my credit rating. When will these big comp when these big companies fall behind, they get my tax money and I get to pay it back for them. This is from Bridport, Vermont. On my Bank of America card, I made purchases at 9.9 percent, which was not a variable rate. I assumed that I had that interest rate because I have never had a late payment and have never made just the minimum payment. This month, I received notice that my interest rate is going to jump to 15.65 percent and be a variable rate. I do have steady income, and I don't want to damage my credit rating by paying the balance off in a few months, then cancel the card. Here's another one from West Burke, Vermont. My husband sustained severe brain trauma in 2000. We managed to not file bankruptcy and to pay off all credit cards. I now find that we are idiots to do this. Our credit is ruined by going a year without income, ruined because we paid any, card, any credit card debt we owed. I am 67 years old and had the card since the year of the flood. I was on vacation and out of the country and did not make my card payment on time. I had always kept my account up. When I went to charge a flight online, it was denied. I called them and they replied that since I was a quote unquote late payer, I had to pay off my account every 30 days as it used to, uh, as it used to before they allowed extended payments for large purchases. I paid off the card that day and cut up the card. West Newbury, Vermont. I send my payment by mail and sometimes the postal service is slow and the card company got payment one day late and has changed my interest rates from 16 percent to 29.9 percent. And now if I pay the minimal payment, the charges are more than what I paid on the bill. One day late from 16 percent to 29 percent. We have, as I mentioned, in two days gotten about 900 emails, mostly from, well, from Vermont significantly, but from all over the country. Uh, Mr. President, I have introduced legislation uh, which would cap interest rates on credit cards at 15 percent, with some exceptions going up to 18 uh, percent. That legislation is co-sponsored by Senators Durbin, uh, Leahy, Whitehouse, Harkin, and Levin. Uh, this legislation is based on longstanding law. Uh, which regulates credit unions uh, who cannot, under normal circumstances, charge more than 15 percent. Uh, Mr. President, the American people are hurting. Uh, we are in a recession because of the greed of a small number of banks on Wall Street. And now what these very same banks are doing is hitting the middle class and working families